Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about mesh on 2.4 gigahertz. Yes, that's right. You can run a mesh core mesh on 2.4 gigahertz now. Well, not quite yet. There's still a lot of work to be done, but I'm going to show you the principles and what we've been experimenting with in the mesh core labs. So let's start with a bit of background then. This is our trusty Heltec V3 LoRa32 board, which is used for MeshCore. You can use it for MeshCore, MeshTastic. And if you've been into Mesh the last couple of years, you will certainly know what one of these things is. Now, the Heltec V3 board is such a flexible device. You can do so many things with it. It's got built-in LoRa, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it's got a decent amount of compute power for something so small. So these devices have been a bit of a benchmark for me since I started my mesh journey. And I always recommend these devices as a good place to start if you want to get into mesh radio. But there is something else that's really interesting about these boards, which we haven't explored yet until now. So as you may already know, these devices are built around a little microprocessor called an ESP32. Now the ESP32 has become a really popular microprocessor and for good reason. It's really powerful, as I said, it's dual core and it also has a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip. It's like a dual purpose radio that can be used for Wi-Fi Bluetooth. Now what's also cool about this built-in radio is it allows you to run a thing called ESP Now. An ESP Now is basically a communication protocol that runs on 2.4 gigahertz. It's different to Wi-Fi in the fact that it doesn't need to have connections so it works peer-to-peer -peer, and it's incredibly fast and flexible. There's lots of stuff you can do with ESP32 including running MeshCore. So in the last couple of days our lead firmware guy Scott has actually put together a test firmware for me to try and it basically uses ESP now as a radio for MeshCore. So what I've got in here is just a Heltec V3, just like this. And because we're now running on 2.4 gigahertz, what I've done is I've modified the Heltec slightly by removing this little spring, which is actually the antenna for the 2.4 radio. So I've taken this little coil off and added an SMA pigtail, which has then allowed me to attach a 2.4 gigahertz SMA antenna. So right now, this device is running our simple terminal client firmware, not the full MeshCore app and everything else, but you can still do all of the core features just using a smartphone and a terminal app here. So for example, if we do list here, we can see we've got two stations that it's picked up. One of them is here just plugged into the computer directly, just running a little client. So I haven't modified the antenna on that one. So that's just going to be a client that's just sitting here on the desk. And this is the MeshCore serial console that it's connected to. So from here, what I could do is I could type in um, public. So I can type in public and just send a message, hi Andy here, and then send that out. Now what we should see when we come back to here is we'll see desktop. Hi Andy. So this is working over ESP now. That's just a public message, not rooted, just completely flooded. And you can see here hops zero on the screen. How cool is that? So now if we want to send a properly rooted DM to desktop, what we can do, we can hit recipient here. And these are presets that you can add on this app. It's quite good. So you can add like preset, preset um, commands, which makes it super handy um, if you're doing this a lot. So what I can do here is I can say to des desktop, I can just type desk and then it will fill in the rest. Recipient desktop now selected. Now what I can do is I can say send higher desktop from here and then hit go. And you say, see how quick that was, three milliseconds. How fast was that? <laughs> was that just absolutely insane. Um, so message sent direct, got act. So it's gone literally from this radio here to this one here as well. No surprises. I do actually have a repeater set up, which I'm going to show you. So at this point, we can see it definitely works. I mean, the next question is going to be, what is the range? Obviously, we've kind of modified the antenna a little bit on this one. And now I'm going to show you the repeater that I've got outside, which is another modified Heltec. So I can already tell you the range is going to be nowhere near lower, but that's not really the point here. What we're trying to do here is show that we can run MeshCore on 2.4 gigahertz and it'd be incredibly fast and you could have a huge density of very, very closely located nodes, sensors, whatever. You know, it's going to work way faster than LoRa does, um, but at the expense of obviously range. So there's the repeater up there clipped onto the gutter. Um, that is a Zero Fox Bender case with a modified Heltec and a alpha, some kind of alpha 2.4 gig antenna. Who knows what that really is like, but that's what we're going to use. Right, so I'm going to head off out the door and um, we'll see how far we get direct to the, uh, the one on the desk and also via the repeater, if we can do that. 
<clears throat> right, so I'm at the end of my path here, so I'm just, just trying to send in a, a message, end of path, um, and we'll go direct. I'm just going to make sure that I am definitely not going through the repeater there, so to do that I'll just type in reset path, that will clear the path, and then we can do ascend uh, again here as well, end of path. So this will now do a flood to try and find the route, and you can see here it says length zero. So we're hitting that, we're hitting that direct. And as you can see, it's it's a little bit scratchy even at the end of the path because the hill tip little spring isn't particularly great. So I'm going to go walking down the road here. Just keep hitting. You're getting the odd packet I come back direct, but. Um, then it will it's sort of going to drop off there we go five milliseconds no we're not doing too bad if i hold it up in the air then we're getting so you see how fast that is three milliseconds when you're direct to the other radio so this is i mean this isn't bad this is a lot further than i'd get with wi-fi i'm past the point where i'd usually lose wi-fi for sure and we're getting the odd packet getting through but it's, it's by no means great so let's try resetting the path again and see if we can hook in our repeater uh, typed it wrong should be reset path right so path is now reset so now if we try another send um, and I'm saying so I'm gonna I'm by the garages so let's just do that well, it's still it's still going direct <laughs> so I just might have to go a little bit further to trigger that repeater um, so I'm now standing by the lamppost which I normally will have no chance getting back um, by normal Wi-Fi um, you just have to take my word for that guys but um, basically I'm gonna reset path again reset path and then I'm gonna try send uh, by lamppost <laughs> right there we go we've got a path length of one so that's showing there's one hop and 25 milliseconds uh, 25 milliseconds on there right so let's keep going keep sending keep sending all right maybe it's responded direct i don't know there so that seven milliseconds seems a bit quick right now we're 12 milliseconds right i'm not line of sight now from here so if i carry on walking we will probably we'll probably lose it lose it i reckon no i'm getting one 23 this is pretty pretty absurd guys i've not managed to get this far on wi-fi before yeah, that is very impressive we're still managing to get a message across still going again it's not you know i'm about half the distance i would get on lower using exactly the same setup right now it's about half the distance i think we've probably had it now yeah i think we're i think we're over i think it's over <laughs> but there are a lot of buildings in between right now oh no i got one there you go look wow that's insane i've never seen anything like that before i mean if you got this up high this end up high there was just a freak one that just got through i'm sending by lamppost but i'm not by the lamppost right i'm going to show you where i am guys here and um so let me just turn this screenshot off right so this is where we are so you see this um this house here well basically mine is behind that some way so we're probably i can tell you how far this is it's basically about 200 meters behind that house in front so i mean that is not bad so back inside now that is quite impressive i mean i'm pretty blown away that it's gone that far um you know some of you might think oh that's not very far at all but but you've got to realize this is 2.4 gig guys and it's you know that is it's not a lot of power either and that's what i want to check next actually just check the power output of this because i've got a feeling it's not a lot of power <laughs> at all um this is going to be quite difficult to get a reading on this because the packets are so sharp and small um, but hopefully we'll be able to do it. You see that there's about 15, 15 milliwatts come back there. 
not a lot at all. I believe that the maximum you can do on this is 100. So, yeah, I wonder why... Yeah, I'm not sure why the why the power output is, is so low. Perhaps we need to have a look at the code and see if there's a way of increasing that power output because if that's doing that on 15 milliwatts, guys, I mean, <laughs> that is pretty impressive. So, yeah, guys, I think overall some really positive tests there. Um, I mean, I'd be really interested to see, you know, if we could just get a lot of repeaters going in a small area and just see exactly what this thing's capable of. I would imagine that multiple tens of hops is just not going to be an issue with this. Um, it's just so fast that it could just deal with that um, very, very quickly. Aside from that, this would be really useful for like super localised meshes. Like if you've got a bunch of houses in a very close proximity and you just want to communicate very quickly between them. I'm sure as things develop, maybe Liam's app could be updated to feature sort of more high bandwidth features like sending the odd image or maybe or maybe even just notifying others that somebody else is typing. These are the sort of features you can get with a high speed network like this. And of course, the other thing with this, ESP32 devices without the LoRa radio and all the other bits and pieces, like without a screen, um, like we see here with the, the Helltech, you can get ESP devices for like, yeah, pennies, literally pennies. And then maybe potentially you could sort of have one connected by a little kind of, you know, 180 degree um, adapter like this one here to actually make this possible. You know, 2.4 gigahertz radios are everywhere. Maybe the interference thing might become a problem, but I mean, I'm in a built up area here and I didn't see any issues with interference. But 2.4 gigahertz, of course, is a lot more kind of accepted out there as a kind of band that everything uses. So maybe you could use this on a plane. I don't, don't quote me on that, but maybe, you know, a group of you could use, use this in an area where maybe Laura wouldn't be allowed. I'm pretty sure there's some countries that don't allow like 868 and 900 megahertz LoRa, you're stuck on 400 megahertz. So in that case, maybe this would be useful for those areas as well. Anyway, guys, lots to think about. Um, really interesting stuff. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget, join my Discord. Lots of conversation happening on there. Like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video, guys.